Hello everyone. Based on the many many requests that I have been receiving in the comment sections of my previous videos as well as on the results of the poll uh, that I had set up in the community post, I have decided to make a different sort of video on uh, giving some sort of advice for uh, JE aspirants, especially those who are dropping or repeating. Now, this is probably going to be my first and last ever uh, video giving such advice for JE preparation. Please note that I have met myself never trained anyone at the plus two level for uh, JE and I do not think I have the expertise or the experience to give expert advice on such things. Nevertheless, I have decided to make this video uh, because I think that unlike many other YouTube channels where so-called experts give advice, uh, I don't have anything to sell. Okay, so I think uh, if I share some of my thoughts, uh, it will be useful for uh, the candidates who are dropping or repeating to make some important decisions. Please note that I'm not going to give any uh, specific tips on the preparation of physics, chemistry or mathematics. Okay, this is general advice. Uh, before we actually drop into uh, or jump into those uh, pieces of advice, I have a little announcement to make, a little congratulatory note uh, to a young boy named Krish Agarwal who successfully and was the first was uh, was the first student to correctly answer uh, the little question that I had posed in one of my earlier videos regarding the connection between zero thermodynamics and Python. So congratulations, Krish. I had promised that I would mention his name in the video. So here it is. Uh, jumping into the pieces of advice. The first thing that I would like you to think about is that uh, where do you actually stand? Okay, what I mean by that is do some introspection and think about your actual position now if you're dropping or repeating. Suppose you have gotten admission uh, into one of the NITs or a good government college uh, in the context of West Bengal here, uh, I know of certain institutes, for example, Jadavpur University and IIAST Shippur, which are more than excellent. So if you're in one of those NITs, uh, these kinds of very good colleges, you are all set. You don't need my advice. You are at a stage of maturity and preparation where you can decide for yourself. So you can close this video and leave. But just before leaving, I'll just say one thing that if you are supposed uh, thinking about preparing for JE uh, second attempt, uh, then just be careful not to screw up uh, your first year results in the institute that you are currently in. Okay, so under no circumstances, your first year results of your current institute should be hampered by your JE preparation of second attempt. Uh, next, Suppose you are not, you have not been, uh, you have not gotten admission into any of these NITs or good government colleges uh, or any other proper institute. Then I ask you to ask yourself this question. Why is it that you did not get through J? And I don't just mean that you did not get through J into IITs. I'm saying that why didn't you even get into the NITs or a good college? Why is that? Now, if the answer to your to this question is that uh, you needed more hard work, okay, then I will ask you to be extra extra careful to seriously rethink, because you see this phrase "more hard work is needed." Uh, this is not something actionable. Okay, this is just like a hope that you will do more hard work this time. It is actually worse than a hope. It is a fantasy. Okay, so you seriously rethink if the only answer to this question that why you did not get through the first attempt is more hard work. On the other hand, suppose your answer is that you did not have the time to prepare such and such topics. And if you had maybe two, three months extra, you could have prepared those topics and then you could have scored more. Maybe certain questions had a combination of knowledge from various topics and because you 
because you were missing out on those topics, you were not able to answer a number of questions in each of the subjects and that's why you did not get through. Now that is very specific knowledge. You can, that is something that you can actually work on. All right. So if that is your answer, it's good. Suppose uh, your answer is that uh, you were at a level of preparation where you knew the theory and you had the knowledge, but somehow you were, you were not at the stage where you had the sufficient speed to answer the questions uh, in the given time. Now that also is something actionable. You can work on it, you can improve, you can get a better rank next time. Okay, so introspect. Think where you are standing and think very, very honestly. Don't let anyone, not even your parents, your elders, siblings, brothers, sisters, your seniors, and certainly not uh, the coaching uh, institute experts tell you where, what you want, what you need. You decide for yourself and accordingly you prepare. This is my advice. This is the main thing that I wanted to talk about. Again, uh, another important thing is uh, one year from now, where do you see yourself? Okay, this is something to think about. Suppose, let's say for argument's sake that your preparation gets a little bit better and you do manage to end up Let's say for argument's sake, you get, up, get into one of the IITs. Let's say for argument's sake, uh, you get into one of the older IITs. Okay. Uh, and so everyone is happy. Everyone is congratulating you one year down the line. Very happy. But in your heart, you are not quite happy because uh, you did not get the branch or the department which you were aspiring for. Okay. Which you thought is the best. You did not get that. Okay. Now, I have seen in my experience, both as a student, among my friends, my juniors, as well as now that I am a faculty here uh, at IIT Kharagpur, I have seen this happen to many, many students that they somehow join uh, the institute and I have seen in other institutes also that they just join it and then all throughout their college life, they suffer from some feeling of inferiority which they have just built up in their head. Okay, all throughout they suffer from this feeling. And this feeling does not end here. Later also in their career, they just keep on feeling like this. So this is a very, very bad situation. What happens is that like what is more dangerous is that these kinds of students uh, like not only do they do they not have any interest because let's let's admit here when you are just 17, 18, 19 years old, uh, I mean, you are not at a level of maturity that you know what exactly your interest could be. You don't know, even know the syllabus of the various departments. However, the dangerous thing is that some of these students do not even have the open-mindedness, the flexibility and the persistence to kind of explore for themselves what the various, what their department has to offer. One important consideration which I would like you to think about is that let's say for argument's sake that you join a certain department, you are not at all interested and uh, now uh, nowadays there is this uh, uh, hype regarding uh, software jobs and you end up doing uh, taking up such a software job all right very good you start earning a salary and all those things but down the line what happens do you think that maybe as a civil engineer or a mechanical engineer you would be uh, able to grasp the kind of opportunities uh, which would otherwise be open for students who have actually formally trained in computer science or IT. That is also something to think about. Now these are rather hi-fi things I'm talking about. Okay, I know the ground reality is that for many Indian families, many middle class families, uh, our situation is that uh, we will get some kind of a job. So uh, going into IITs, NITs or a good government college is just like a gateway for us to get a good job. Okay, this is the truth. So if by getting that the, the good tag of the institute, you are able to land even if it is a software job and it makes uh, somehow your family life a little bit better and that makes you happy uh, and uh, that is the goal i mean i support you all throughout okay go ahead i mean i mean get the tag 
get the job whatever is whatever you can get uh, improve the situation of your family because your first duty is certainly to your family okay not to any higher order philosophy but if you are the kind of person who has in your heart somewhat of a passion for our interest uh, towards the actual subjects that you are studying maybe you are interested in higher studies then it would be really unfortunate if you stick around uh, for some uh, some weird reason uh, in a in a in a in a department or studying a subject so called studying a subject uh, in which you are least interested okay that would be a, like a loss of your brain power okay like your entire life you will be left agonizing over your decision okay uh i forgot to mention this i should have mentioned this earlier that especially for people who are thinking of repeating okay not people who have already dropped or anything maybe who are thinking of dropping or repeating and they have not yet appeared for their board exams please please be very very careful about one thing that no matter what you do in your entrance your board exam will come only once okay and that result will stick around to you with you all your life nobody is going to ask you what was what was your je rank but in many many places especially especially if you go into academia if you go into higher studies people will ask you what was your 10th board result what was your 12th board result believe me i have gone through this myself uh, even when i was applying for faculty positions i had to fill this up okay you probably don't know these things i had to fill this fill this up my 10th board result my 12th board result okay so suppose you have gotten a position in your state board like then that carries a lot of weight okay certainly the institute and uh, uh, which place you did your undergraduate from what results you did all of these things matter but your board results also matter so please don't uh, please be very careful about that final word of advice remember that J E is not the end of your academic career. Okay, it may be the end of your school career, but your real career starts after J E. Okay, so if you are stuck doing something which you, which every waking moment of your life you, uh, you hate, then it is almost equal to like, like going into an arranged marriage, just because you. uh you want to satisfy the wish of your parents of becoming grandparents okay so remember it is your career not anyone else's so please decide for yourself thinking very very carefully so this is all that i have to say thank you very much and all the best in thinking wisely